<laughs> Prepare for battle. All right, thanks, Zyar. We are here, game five. We will see the paparazzi anti-mage once more train. It worked out in game number one, I believe, and we'll see if it can work out again here for Vici Gaming with what looks to be mostly a single core in the late game for them with this anti-mage. Yeah, there's a lot of comfort heroes all around. We had Batumba Man ask for his Lycan earlier. It was received. Now it's Miracle on the Invoker. The fans want it. They will get it. But it's on the side of Vici Gaming, too. I mean, Young Eleven, the Magnus. He's looked fantastic. Ori on a puck, a shining star, and then paparazzi on that anti Mage, absolutely terrifying. I don't know if they're going to have the big enough threat like in that late game. It, it, there's no secondary hero really for Magnus to help out with, right? There's a lot of that control. That stocks up well with the puck. But in terms of the Empower, in terms of the Bloodlust, there is only one focal point, and it will be our Anti Mage. So, so much assistance being provided to Paparazzi, you can imagine, during this game. The question is, can someone like Mind Control just control him? I mean, the Brewmaster, perhaps the, the Wind Pan is going to toss him up in the air, or will uh, Miracle catch him out? And all these tornadoes curl with the ultis. Paparazzi's going to be dancing. Yeah, he's going to have to in this game. And we saw last game, Mind Control, of course, on that Brewmaster did a lot of work. Of course, GH was on the Earthshaker, this time around on the Earth Spirit instead. So some interesting heroes for sure. Kuroki on the Shrine Protector. No action at the beginning of this game in comparison to our last few games, in fact. So Liquid will take a couple of runes. So too will Vici Gaming. And we'll set up our laning phase here, trying to move into the, this fifth and final game. Yeah, everyone just kind of playing it easy. Don't want to get any crazy advantages. Actually, really early. Lenham heading mid. He might get here in time. Oh, so hey, close. Uh, not quite. He's pretty speedy with those boots of speed, but he will not be able to find the courier already on the way back. So that should be safe. GH, looking from the high ground, can roll into the river looking for Ori. He's going to try and just go for some harass at this point. Illusorab already going, jaunting away. Ori trying to get as much damage onto GH as possible so the trade's a bit more efficient. Now the Ignite coming in. They need to be careful. Miracle also getting chased down. He has only Sunstrike ready, and GH is maybe going to get dope under this tower. He has a Tango in his cell ready. Sunstrike coming in. Lanham going to give away first blood. Miracle gets the job done. Very nice coming in from Liquid. Very well baited out from GH there underneath the tower there. Yeah, aggression punished. Not exactly what you expect to happen when you're diving near an invoker. Of course, someone who tends to need those levels, but well shot from Miracle. Lanham pays the price. Goes from potential courier snipe into first blood feeder. They're going to do it again, or you're going to get caught. But again, another Illusory Orb just trying to trade as best as possible. Lanham walking back in, looking for GH. He has the Boulder Smash ready. He needs to be careful. Now the Cold Snap coming in. Oh, there is that Boulder terribly. Smash. And Lanham is about to fall. And he might be tanky, but not tanky enough to deal with Miracle, who is now owning in this middle lane. They're doing such a great job of forcing out that orb, too. It's making it very difficult for Ori to have any sort of say in the range creep battle. Uh, being forced away from them. This time, they will come close to the tower. We'll see if Miracle can get any big denies here, try and keep an EXP advantage. This is what people are clamoring for. The Miracle Invoker coming out. Very hype here in this fifth game. We'll see what he can get done. For now, three last hits, four denies, but again, a lot of those... Uh, those two kills are going to help him out in the beginning of this game, so... Yeah, and the wave goes a bit too deep here, so Ori's going to get a lot. Gets both range creeps and now another wave at his tower, so... Kind of saved here after the uh, two kills handed over to those mid lane heroes. Roki and Fenrir going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. A lot of damage between these two supports, in fact. Now they have the Shackles coming in, but no other further help. Kuroki should have Sunstrike from Miracle, not queued up. And actually, Fenrir will secure that kill on Kuroki, so the trade from supports won by the roster, won by the Shadow Shaman. Yeah, just a, a bit too big of an ask there. Not enough damage dealt. Now it's Miracle. Oh, it goes Ooh, for a little bit of a block was, there, but thanks for the extra HP. Yeah, that would have been hype. Yeah, Lanham's just going to eat his way through. Miracle will fall. GH rolls in and have perhaps a little bit too late. Looking for Lanham, the tower. Or he will take the aggro from it and actually keep Lanham alive. Phase shift in the meantime. Make sure he avoids as many tower hits as possible. So really good stuff there. Really good eat of the tree from Lanham. But he's still going to get rolled on. A lot of damage being done, though. And in fact, he, GH is just going to go down to the double damage ogre at this point. Just too much damage to deal with. And Liquid will lose another hero in that mid lane. Maybe we'll just empower and bloodlust him. Send him at people throughout this game. So far, so good. Might as well. He's doing pretty damn well in that mid lane. Paparazzi top, Mind Control, and Kuroki just trying to harass him as much as possible. Nine last is for Paparazzi. Rooted up. There's the Leech Sheet coming in, but he blinks to the tower. Fenrir, Earth, uh, Ether Shock is going to come in, but at this point, Liquid are going to back away and just uh, reconvene here in a moment. All, All right. of this pressure on the AM, too. Very nice. Keeping a 10 last hits. A little bit of an edge there for Mind Control. Kuro just so obnoxious to deal with. Here again, another punch. Yeah, this is so annoying. Look at the damage. Even gets the crit for Mind Control. Plenty of damage to be done. They have this Observer War, too, so if he tries to run back, there is the possibility of a Sunstrike. 
I'm starting to regen is... up past that threshold, though. Yeah, he should be fine for now. It's the spell shield as well. That's not going to help against the Sun Strike, but still. He should be okay with some more aggression coming in from Liquid. They have three here top lane, however, which is a bit dangerous. Kuroki sitting in pretty deep, using that nature's guise. And I don't think they're going to die this. Fenrir's oh, going to walk Fenrir. in, though. Yeah, they might go on him, perhaps. Now they really want this kill on Paparazzi instead. Yeah, they're, they're trying. The wave is pushed in pretty close to the tower. He's been able to just sit behind it and tango up for the most part. But I'll tell you one thing. He's only gotten one last hit in the past like 30, 40 seconds or so. So it's a victory either way. Yeah, very Still good. Still trying to tango up with some sort of reliable HP so we can't just be bursted down. So what are the sports doing? And they're smoking mid. That's the plan here from the Dire Sports. They will uh, find GH. Yeah, he's going to tank this perhaps. He has Rolling Boulder. The Shackles will come in mid lane. The Elusive to follow up on top of it. He has the Boulder Smash rolling away. GH might make it out and will. He has a TP scroll, so he got 150 HP, doesn't need to use it. And uh, Miracle will be there to help out as well. So now going on top lane, they've got the Nature's Guys. Paparazzi getting harassed again, but still, this is going pretty well for Liquid because Matumba Man is farming freely bottom lane. 33 last hits coming out for this Lifestealer against this Magnus, Young 11. Yeah, on the one hand, Young 11's getting a little bit of space this game. He's not being harassed too much, so at least he can have a decent start, but handing all that off to Matama Man, pretty important this game. Doesn't have the best infest carrier, so he really needs everything that he can get out of the lane. He's gonna have to rely on just like a mind control blink, but that's about it. Maybe some cute inv or invis plays from Kuro. Yes, we will see how that's gonna go. Line Level six. Long wrap here. They're going all the way around. Level two for him. Nature's Guys comes out from Kuroki. They want mind control instead. The shackles will come through. A lot of damage now stopped by Nature's Guys. So Fenrir, he had the, the shackles cut short there, but mind control still getting dope. He's got some region to work with. He's sitting pretty low. He's going to go for the clap. The Sunstrike coming in. Lonham walks into it, and they will secure a kill. Can he still get out? They've got the Drunken Haze. He's making so much space. Pop Rock continues to miss. The Rolling Boulder's coming in. They've got the Boulder's miss. It's on to two. He's going to blink himself oh, the out. The tower's going to hit him and bring him down. Three dead there. Miracle included using that Sunstrike. Doing so much work. Vici Gaming, what a disaster there in that top lane. Yeah, it all starts just by Kuro saving right there with the root, right? And then that caused him to dive deeper and deeper. They just felt so close that they were going to be able to bring down Mind Control. And now it's going to put him closer to level six. Now five and a quarter. Gets a bounty rate up to five and a half. And even a shrine here for him and GH. So they continue pressuring top and trying to slow down this AM. In fact, he's gone. He's level four and a half on Paparazzi. He's going down to a level seven and a half. Life stealer. So he had 11 last hits a, a couple of maybe two minutes oh ago. God. He's up to 12 now. He only got one more within that time span. Didn't get a kill. He died for it too. So yeah, it makes sense for him to move around the map right now. Meanwhile, Mind Control top lane looking to help GH, who's going to get jumped down. They have the waiting rift. The Dream Quill will go as well. He'll try to roll out Lon and blocks him perfectly, and he will fall. Lon up securing the kill, finally getting back on the board here. And uh, Liquid will have to back the rest of them up in this top lane. Third time's a charm there on the GH gank. Finally does go down. Uh, Fenrir, possibility here. Mind control, waltzing on it. Okay, playing a little bit chill here. All right, Paparazzi's in the jungle. Yeah, this he's uh, been empowered at seven minutes. It's not feeling great. Again, no Iron Talent to fall back on. I don't even know if you would want to go with that if you're. And look how here. vulnerable this Fenrir is up here. They're just looking for a nice, easy little Sun Strike play. Bottom lane 11. There's the Sun Strike coming out, and that will secure another kill for Miracle as Matumba Man starts it off with the open wounds, has the phase boots, and now really closing in on that armlet on top of it all. All right, top just get to hold on, then, I guess. Yeah, then we can wait. focus down the tower. I mean, my control's almost six. Maybe that's what they're waiting on. They will also want the tower, too, which is getting low. Ether Shock, here we go. The clap comes out. Now they're going. The Drunken Haze is up. Kuroki running in. Nature's Guys now on cooldown for three seconds. TP for more. Looking to go for a coil up in five seconds. My control should fall here. The Shackles will come in. They have no way to cancel, it looks like. He's still alive. We'll stick up, but Ori will secure it with the Wayne Rift. And uh, maybe it looks like they will also deny this tower on top of it. So, very good rotations from Vici Gaming. They punish the dive from that uh, Brewmaster. Kuro's going to try and go for it. Oh, running in. There's, Go tree. Uh, no. Nope. Oh, he has to fake it out. Yeah, canceling it. One more auto attack perhaps needs two. There it is. <laughs> Lana played it perfectly. Now the fire blast. And Kuro might die for this. That yeah. getting chased down. No He's detection. got the over venom. Kuro cannot get the nature's guys off. He is just going to fall. Fenrir was there to back him up too if need be, but no such uh, need required. The greed. <laughs> he went for it. You got to give him credit, man. Yeah, I'll hand it to him. Quite a bit of a decent lead here as well. 3k, although they yeah. might not be able to tell, considering it's 7 to 6. I, I doubt they realize just how under farm that animage was. It can be a bit hard to tell sometimes, but he is mega poor. He has got a long way to go. Working on. He doesn't even have boots yet. He went for the gloves of haste instead. Still needs those treads to 
Get some extra farm going his way. On the other side, Matumba Man couldn't be more farmed, honestly. He's just got a solo kill bottom. Now his armlet's done. At this Dyer's point, bottom tower is under they're attack. feeling pretty Salving good. through dragons. You get the, the strats coming out of your pop. All right, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> this, this isn't going too well. No. This, uh... The ancient camp's not going to be great for paparazzi. He's got a power at least. What, what level is it? Three? So there is something. I mean, it can help him farm, but yeah, there's definitely been some plan here for Young Lama. He doesn't even have one point in Skewer. That's how desperate he knows his anti mage is. And top lane, they are way in deep here. Already pressuring into this tower. GH will just take the creeps for a walk. Maybe pull him into a camp, farm it up a little bit here, and kind of try and bait the Dire into something. There's an Observer Ward spotting on him. Yeah, they're just going to move right in. Nature's Guy is it coming out. They've got so a tanky, Fire Blast. Though. Yeah, he is really. Lap will come in. The Sunstrike will help out, but he's going to dodge it nicely. Done. Lon, I'm not going to get caught this time. Waiting of Dream Quill. On to two. Kuroki in trouble. There's the split coming out. Kuroki, Nature, or rather, the Living Armor not there in time. Still looking for Femur. Rolling Boulder in. He's back. GH is here for the party. The Panda's doing some serious work. The Fire Panda auto attacking him down. GH in trouble. The Boulder Toss keeping him alive. The Cyclone as well. GH is into the tree line. Going for a TP scroll. He's going to make it out. And Lana might fall on top of it. My control gets the club. A wow. double kill. And Ori needs to be careful on top of it. He is using the Illusion Orb. He's going to jaunt to the tree line. Maybe go for a TP of his own. He doesn't have one. But should still be safe. Mind control. Finding a double kill there at 10 minutes in. A 4k lead now for Liquid. Rolls the barrel on out of here. And look at all this creep. Oh my God. I mean, you got to farm this That's up here. That's a huge wave. That's he's a lot getting, of experience. Yeah. He's actually like so close to blank, but he might die. Lanham is back in. TP to the shrine. Looking for a target. Drunken Haze comes out. Mind control. Not sure what he could do. He'll just go down to Shockwave. So staying perhaps a bit too long, but he really wanted that creep wave for that experience. Yeah, he's getting very close to the blink. Loses 164 and quite a bit of farming time. But here we go. It's going to be a role play mid. They get the silence off the cold snap, the infest bomb out. Do they have the damage? They sure do. Nicely done. Matumba Man finally getting involved. That's his armlet showing up too. They're going to put some pressure on the tier one tower in the meantime. All right, man. It's it's just, again, it's all rolling for liquid here. A 4K start for them. Everything going well at this point for the most part. Yeah, now they'll start to catch up a little bit here with Kuro. He gets a free lane top. It's one of these very nice scenarios for a tree and protector. Your teammates push down that tower up top really quick, and you can just kind of chill up here. There's a lot of pressure for the team to like deal with you because they don't want you to get free farm, but at the same time it takes so long you have to bring detection that that's just going to create more space for your brewmaster and your invoker so it's a, a bit of a catch-22 problem and in the end sometimes it's just best to let the stupid train protector get his levels in gold yeah he's getting up there level six coming soon for the tree so far level two living armor but that's fine take things slowly here miracle we haven't talked about him too much but he's working on axe he has the midas that's been up for a while now he has the full point booster and working on his first component after that point booster getting into the staff of wizard rear something along those lines top in the net worth for miracle so making all the space with ori on yeah. that puck. they need to find something here it feels like you need to make more room for oh. the anti they're gonna smoke right behind them jump and clap onto three they've got the hex up there's the super wards drop two they have the sun strike it might split it hits perfectly on defender instead and lana will get dropped and these wards will get dealt with and ori has to leave pretty much instantly He's just out of there at his tier one tower. Such a fast hex coming up from Fenrir, but then the silence right away from GH. Didn't even matter. They dropped the snakes. Don't even have to waste the panda ulti. <laughs> they smoked right behind him. Yep. A bit unfortunate for Vichy Gaming there. But Haste rune here, and Ori does see it, so he'll be able to grab that for himself. Maybe they can try and do something with that. Perhaps Dream Coil onto Miracle. Yeah, they want to make something happen. They, they really want to shut this Invoker down. And they need to make more space for this anti mage who is still sitting at 3.5k net worth. Just under Ori. He's caught back up a little bit. 58 last hits now on a Perseverance and working on that Demon Edge for the Battle Fury. So we are not out of this yet for, for Vici Gaming here. They need some more oh, time to make this. room. But The momentum being kept here from Liquid. They just instantly hop inside of GH with Matumba Man TP to the top lane. And they are on the prowl. Oh, Fenrir might Paparazzi. be dead. I don't and know. He drops the sentry. Settle for him? Ooh, yeah, they. Kuroki decided not to go for it, but he was spotted with that sentry just placed down by Fenrir. Yeah, the Observer was... spotted GH too, so that's going to be enough to send Paparazzi running. They're running. I don't think they're going to try to re-engage here. I think they're just trying to get out. Rolling Boulder, maybe they go for Fenrir. They're trying. The Infest out. There's the Boulder Smash on Strike, and that's just going to be a kill. I mean, even when he sees him, there's not much he could do. He just gets jumped on. All right, Disaster. Well, fair enough. I'll take it. Should and... secure them the mid tower as well here as my control still lurking nearby with the blink. With the split, and Matumba just find runs it. in. Yep, Lonam's just gonna get caught. Good rage, perfectly top for Matumba Man. Looking for mind control instead, but too little too late as he's trying to switch targets. Bloodlusted, empowered AM, still tries to catch him. He's doing quite well, he's up to 73, him and Magnus both. But in terms of the net worth chart, that is three Radiant Heroes on top. 
I mean, Any this mage is... is the last in the cores. Dire team. Are Liquid going to win in this fashion? Just three in a row straight dominance? Because that's what it's feeling right, like right now. 6k advantage. I know the AM is still still not online yet. Can he get there is the question, though. Still a ways away. 11 coming in. Boulder smash. Nice blank. And Mind Control, knowing that, will stop for his primal split. In fact, now he needs the mana. He gets it with the wand. Actually about to come through there. It gets off in time. Fenrir getting chased down. Dream Quill coming in. They're looking for Kuroki. Sunstrike is there. Fenrir will fall first. Kuroki's still alive for now. The Living Armor coming in. They've got the boulder toss on Delonim. They'll dispel Ori in the meantime. The Tumma Man finally coming back into the fray. They've got the root. He's going to be able to jaunt through Ori. Won't be able to get targeted. Eleven's waiting. He's got the RP. Not enough mana to blink out for Mind Control in time. But still getting chased. He needs help now. He's going to stick up. They won't chase too far, I don't think. Eleven, maybe looking for a skewer play? No, not going to go for it. But Tumma Man is too close, and they don't want to try to chance anything just yet for VG Gaming. And lose Paparazzi again. It's so terrifying to see a team turn it on like this. You just kind of wonder, like, what was going on in those first two games, you know? Were they just trying to win a different way, trying to make things somehow different for them? And they just say, okay, never mind, just back to the same old Liquid. <laughs> it's unbelievable. I mean, they were, what, failing a little bit in the mid-game? Just don't go to mid game, have a 9k lead at 14 minutes. Right. Maybe just they were trying the Elder Titan the first game clearly. That didn't work out, but the second game too. But uh, just dead. Alright, well. Instantaneously obliterated. And scan down bottom as well from both teams, actually, layered on top of each other. Yeah, Kuroki knows they're here now. The, the scan hit the uh, Dyer as they moved in. Vichy didn't find a scan for themselves. I don't think he connected on Kuroki, so he'll be safe and sound underneath the tower. He's got the Nature's guys to work with, and Liquid are still on the hunt here looking yeah, for Ori. They're under this Dyer vision, though. Yeah, so. exactly. They'll have to back out now. Oh, they see the death, so this will probably hint off that they're heading towards Roche. But uh, what can you really do about it, right? Maybe you can try and make a play with Ori. He's spotted, though, going through mid by a uh, Radiant Observer Ward. Yeah, behind the tower, in fact. Still working on Blink, a thousand gold away. Yeah, they're into the pit now, though. Kuroki might have spotted Lonham, moving up to the high ground. He'll drop a ward instead, but yeah. I mean, Roche... It is spotted, though. It, it, it looks... Dire. It, it's just like... I think they're just going down the checklist at this point, Trent. Yep. I mean, they're doing everything they absolutely need to. They're getting kills, taking towers, and now it's Roche time. This is going to be Aegis picked up, more than likely from a Tumba Man. Miracle continues to farm and get... Super, super rich at this point. Yeah, his game's been great. He hasn't really felt the pressure to do anything. He's just doing what every Invoker loves, throwing out Sun Strikes for the first 20 minutes into the game, and that's built him up into a Midas Agonist and top of the net worth chart. Kuro just running away with an ulti down bottom. Space he's created. his room, but he's dusted, so not very handy. Oh, okay. man, he just sidestepped that. That was so close. Young 11, I thought he had it with that skewer, but not quite. Now they're going to chase up to Lonham. He will avoid the, the Boulder Smash as well. GH has the Life Stealer inside of him. Can infest out, magnetize. Ooh, that's really well done. The Serpent War trap, at least under GH, they might get that kill. Rage is out though from Matumba Man. They will get one kill out of it. Now the split coming in and Lana might die again. They'll drop the boulder toss coming in. Matumba Man's still looking for more. Armlet toggle is available. No mana for the open wounds. I don't think he needs it. The cold snap locking him down and in place. Double kill from Matumba Man, who is now dominating, by the way. Three. There's another cyclone ready here if they find him. Can they get the third at this point? Young Eleven's gonna get caught, but uh, I don't know how deep they're gonna go yeah, for this. There's no follow coming. Looks like they're just gonna back up and take the tier one. I gotta farm those snakes. Yeah, that, a little bit of gold here. That too. And Damn, uh, that dodge rich. by Kuro was sick. He's Radiant's practicing his moves for the after party later. Top. Yeah, he's feeling very confident. I see. He's gonna have reasons to dance if yeah. they can take this game, and it's getting to that point where, all right, 10k net worth advantage. It's feeling pretty good here, Trent. Radiant's yeah. Top top. I mean, yes, there's Nanny Mage. He's the talk of the town this patch. Can he get it done in a game like this? This would truly be a testament to how strong the hero is. They can find a way to come back in this. Uh, he's got Battle Fury. I mean, it's not over. He, he has a long way to go. I mean, Liquid have a giant advantage with Miracle having 10k net worth. Matumba Man up to 9k with a Desolator now. Kurt They're getting all the these towers. There, but Lonham? Just punching. Yeah, I mean, he's the one getting gone on, even though Curry's been the one spotted. So he is just going to back himself up. Uh, Miracle's looking for more, perhaps. I, I, they could just continue to push, I suppose, with Matumba Man. They now have the Ancient Black Dragon. Infested, always good. way good. to go push mid. Yep. Tornado onto two top lane and the Meteor. Uh, I'm looking for it. That was beautifully uh, that's done. That's Miracle Invoker. Yeah, he is just owning now. Lana will fall next. Young Eleven also dead. It's a just mega so kill easy. spree. He doesn't have a blink. They're just there. He throws a tornado. You're both just dead. <laughs> uh, his levels are insane. He's level 15 right now. Yep. Easy game. Midas, Aghanims, and Boots of Travel, I believe, on the way out on the Courier, or should be soon. This Courier is packed to the brim, by the way, if you look at it on the Radiant. It really is. I mean, it's we got a everything. a few more slots on here, I think. Ogre Club, they've got a Vlad, they've got a Medallion, Boots of Travel recipe. My god, that is a rich Courier if I've ever seen one. 
And it's uh, bottom and mid being pushed. That dragon's still going to work here. A tumble man feasts upon some creeps. They'll be glipped up for a moment, but only a moment longer. Miracle will take it, use his Midas, and continue on his way to his next item. So, Mind Control is even just trying to bait up the top lane with a tier one, hoping someone would show up. If he does eventually clear the wave, he has the primal split back up and available. That tier two mid. Now he's got the Vlads coming as well. They're begging them to defend. They're hoping that they do. The Raiden are scanning, thinking, hey, maybe they're they smoked up trying to bait something. Such an advantage. 14k, when you're this far ahead, you could just continue on. Down the checklist they go. The last outer tower will fall. That's the tier two in the mid lane drop down. Echo Saber now picked up from a Tumba Man on top of it all. And Liquid just continue their dominance in game five. This has been one-sided oh, uh... from the get-go. The silence is up onto the anti-mage. He can't afford to die, but he will. Dead for 48 seconds, but Tumba Man will get the job done once more. I'm thinking he wasn't expecting that because the uh, illusion of GH was Dream Coiled Nip. Well, you win some, you lose some. Shackles will come out from Fenrir, just trying to make sure my control can't go at him, but he still will. That's half your HP. Yep. Good old crit, and then they get the tornado to follow it up with the sun strike time perfectly, and Miracle will secure the kill. Man, they are just trouncing Vici Gaming right now. 15k net worth advantage, yes. We keep talking about this anti-mage, but at this point, they're knocking on the door of the tier 3 tower trend. Don't think I've ever seen such a three-game clinic to come out, especially not after you lost game one and game two. Yeah, exactly. I mean, they... It was looking kind of rough there in the first two games, but they brought it back in dominant fashion, and they're showing it here. 16k now in the net worth. I mean, my control is just going to zone. He can just jump in and start throwing out some spells, and I can't see them stopping this. Some of them on the high ground, begging them to try a play. They're going to go for it. RP comes in, but they cancel it immediately, coming with a tornado, as well as that boulder smash. Dead young 11, and with him down and no RP, makes it that much harder. Oh, They're going to lose this tier 3 tower. Tumble, man. Yeah, he does so much damage with Desso with Armlet on top of it. They have to drop some wards. He's got a 3 shot pretty much on him. He gets the double kill. He'll get inside a creep, jump out, get his HP back. On the other side, Mind Control was looking for Fenrir underneath that tier 4 tower, or he has to jump back into the well. They're essentially getting pushed back to their tier 4 towers. Liquid, they're about to take the first set of racks, and this is almost looking like GG at this point, Trent. There's no towers inside of the base. They're going to rotate to the mid lane to keep the alacrity going. Bloodlust, uh, really not a comparison here. Alacrity yeah. just doing so much more work. Absolutely outstanding play from Liquid. They're going to continue on. The tier 3 tower still getting shredded. The alacrity goes back up onto this life still as if he needs any more damage at this point. He's almost too strong. They're looking to stop him and shut him down, but what can they really do at this point? They've already taken the melee rex mid after that full set bottom lane, 22k. It continues to rise. They have the blink on Kuro now. Boulder Smash will just be swiftly sidestepped by Lana, but at this point he can only sit and watch as his mid rex is just eviscerated by Liquid. TI champs sure do seem to like these miners. And they hit the crew too. As uh, they're looking for another swift victory here for some more qualifying points. Yeah, they're uh, they're getting in position for the GG potentially, or he has to blink away, but Lanham again. He just cannot withstand Matumba Man when he's got that rage up. Luckily, won't fall. Not yet anyway. Dream Coil on the two. Maybe they can find something here. They'll break the coil immediately on both of these here. The skewer back in there looking for Miracle. He's in trouble. Jackled up. There's going to be the turnaround coming in from Kuro with the ultimate, but still, he's alive somehow. The definite blast coming in. The meatball drop down. Everybody getting cleaned up by Vici. They're just not strong enough at this point. They've already lost the anti-mage. Young 11 is going to be next, and Lottom, double kill coming in. They've got the detection. They've got the kill. They've got the GG. And Team Liquid are your Dota Pip Minor champions. Convincing, I think, is the way to phrase it. Yes, absolutely. I mean, in those last three games, was there ever a doubt? No, there really wasn't. It just Liquid just took hold game number three and carried through without even a, a chance for their opponents whatsoever. Unbelievable. I mean... You can say, yes, they just turned it on, but that doesn't just come out of nowhere. I mean, maybe some of the picks were a little bit different and everything, but there is still a, an aspect of mental fortitude that comes out there from Team Liquid. They've done this before. They've done this. I hear they won.